How is a Rocher different from a Cornell? Spoons. First off, let me go over the spoons that you should use for a Rocher. They have a very long bowl going up to a little tip here, as opposed to a more rounded spoon. We don't want to use this guy. This is one of my favorite spoons to use, a nice deep bowl, or one of these tiny guys with a long handle. I love these. So we can use a torch on our spoon like this, but I prefer just to do some hot water and then just keep your spoons in that. Take your warm spoon and then just run it across whatever it is you're trying to make a rocher of. That's kind of sloppy. I can do a nicer one. Okay, there we go. That's a rocher. Now for Cornell's, you use two spoons. I have way less practice with this. And all you're doing is running them across each other like so. You know, I think doing a rocher is just way easier. Just one spoon, some warm water, and that's it. And that is the difference between a rocher and a Cornell. And also, this is Cool Whip. I love it.